Today we're gonna learn how to use auto-tune with trap vocals. We're not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna show you how to do it live and direct. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is we want to open up our session. Now we already have a uh, session opened up. Let's listen to the beat. So to kind of go fast, what we want to do is we want to first import our beat into the session. So you go to Pro Tools and you go to import, you go import audio, you go to download and you find your track, you convert, you hit done. That'll import your beat. Once you find your beat, you have to find your you have to find your tempo. Now, if you don't know how to, if you don't know your scales, what I suggest is buying mixed in key. This software will not only find your key, but it will find your tempo. So now let's find that. We go to our beat, we hit open. And um, Mix the Key has already done this one for me. So the beat is Narcos, the key is E minor, and it's 129. Now, if you don't have Mixed in Key, you wanna look for another alternative, Audio Keychain is another good alternative to finding the key, but it's, res it's less reliable than Mixed in Key. Mixed in Key is about 80, 70, 80% right most of the time. But even if uh, mixed in key is wrong, it'll still put you in like a relative key. Audio keychain sometimes, I would say it's about 50, 60% right. You know, if you, don't, if you don't know the key, sometimes it gives you a relative key, sometimes not. So I would just go ahead and spend the 40 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever, you know, mix the key is charging to get your tempo, unless you know scales. So right into, once we have our key, there's several different ways that we want to be able to record. Now, what I suggest doing is, I suggest recording with auto-tune EFX, as you see here. So let's say, let's say we're pulling it up from, from scratch. Auto-tune EFX, boom. Now, quite naturally, it's going to be set to, you know, C major. So if you're really trying to get that hard trap vocal sound effect, you want to either keep it on hard or either soft EFX. Pitch correct is, is if that you really want to be able to record, but you want to just have a slight bit of auto tune, but not too much. So I would say put it on hard and then this is now you have to find your key. What we're doing, E minor. Now the, vo the vocal type really determines the range because if you put it on baritone or bass, it's only going to allow you to correct really in those frequencies. So you really have to make sure that you so if you're a guy, you have a deeper voice, just remember baritone bass. If you are a guy or a woman that has like a, you know, a medium type voice, I would say alto tenor, a higher voice soprano. So me, you know, um, E minor and alto tenor should do just fine with me. Now the difference between the auto tune EFX and the Evo is like I said, it's a much simpler version. And this one is basically a low latency version of auto tune. Now you have Evo, the problems that you have recorded in the Evo, if you have an older version, let's say like six or five or under, is that there was no live recording mode. In auto tune eight, you have a little button over here in this region that that you can click on that allows you to record live like auto to effects that doesn't give you that latency effect so but even still this version is quite simple and I'll, I'll show you some things i'll show you guys how to record on that so while we got this one pulled up let's just go ahead and set the key on this one boom and auto tune evo was a lot more detailed than efx efx is just straight to the point but for my for my preference of recording style i like doing that so while I got everything up, I'm recording on my Pro Tools preset, uh, preset template trap guides. So it already has the delay, the reverbs, you know, the compression, the gate, everything worked out for me. So I can just focus on my sound. So now that I got my beat pulled up, I got my tempo. All I have to do is on my recording, I'm ready to go. So I'll just, oh, let's test it. <laughs> So right after the so right out of the gate. So
So right out of the gate, now before we want to do that, we want to go to our playback engine. We want to make sure it's it's at least 256 and under. Because 256, you really won't have those latency issues. If you go 512 and over, that's really what you want to use to kind of mix with. But any kind of recording, you want to do 256, 128, 64, 32. It might be kind of hard. Your computer might crash. But I said between 64 and 256. Just hit OK. Boom. So let's start our recording. Now that we're on, we can get this to text. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to kind of play with our melodies. The reason we want to record with the auto-tune on versus just recording without the auto-tune is that we have an opportunity to hear what the song, what the tune sounds like, and bend according to the tune. So let me give you an example. Get rid of this channel. Get rid of this channel. <laughs> I'm on a mission. I'm in it. I'm getting it. I'm getting Let me turn my other stuff off. Bam. Like I said, I already had a hook to this, but I'm just going to show you guys this for an example. Turn my mic down. Another thing is you, you want to make sure that this isn't hitting in the red. So turn your mic down on your interface. And if you want to turn it up, turn it up from here. But don't have it extra loud on your interface because you want to be able to go back and mix this later. So let's do it. I'm on a mission. I'm getting ready. I'm getting rich. 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 I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. And if it's still peaking in here, we still turn it down a little bit more. Or we turn it up here. So it's so now that you get an opportunity to see what it sounds like on the auto tone. Like I said, you can just go, and that could be my hook right there. So let's let's do that. I'm on a mission. 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 So you guys see how that when we're recording on the hardest setting with auto tune, it gives us that really, really trappy sound. Now, even just using my preset, let's say, let's say we'll borrow these ad libs, trap ad libs. Let's use those. I'll borrow those for a second. Let me just use that. I should duplicate this. And we can still do the same thing with the um, with the trap. Now, what I suggest doing when you're recording trap vocals with your auto tune for your ad libs, you just use your recording channel. I don't know if you guys have the preset or not. Even if you don't, if you're recording in your own system, record um, just with the auto tune and then drag it down to your trap ad lib. And what I, like I said, like I, I reiterate, always record with the auto tune on because your voice is going to get adjusted and bend to the auto tune. So let's do it again. Let's do some ad libs. I'm on a mission. 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 
Oh, I'm on a mission. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on a mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on a mission. Yeah, yeah. I'm on a mission. So, so now that we got those ad libs out of the way, whatever ad libs that we creatively came up with, we'll highlight those. We'll drag them to there, and we can just copy our auto tune effects by holding Alt Option, dragging it down. Boom. And if you already have your trap ad libs set up on here, like I already got the effects because. It comes on my preset, and then you can just do it. Now let's hit that back. I'm on a mission. 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 Okay, so now that we got a great sound going with that, a lot of people are not using auto tune. The other alternative that I suggest to people is using wave tunes. I don't have it at this studio, it's in my studio in Atlanta, but I'll show you a picture and I'll show you guys how to do it. Now, with um with the real time, the only thing that you want to do is you want to keep this correction all the way to 100. Make sure the correction is on. You want to have make sure that this note transition is all the way to the left to zero. Make sure the speed is all the way to the left to zero or somewhere within that region. And then you have this tolerance time. You want to have this one mostly to the left as well. I would suggest turning the vibrato off unless you're singing. Unless you're singing on it, it's more melodic. Turn it on a little bit if you want to hear a little bit more of that vibrato, that young blue sound. Turn the vibrato on. And then you do the same thing as you're doing with the auto tune is you have to make sure that you have to find your key. So you go to your scales, major or minor, whatever uh, mixed in key gave you, boom, major, minor. So in our particular case, it would be minor, boom, and it would be E, E flat. So then you would have to make sure that this button is, is, is highlighted as well. Now, just like auto tune again, you have to make sure that you have your appropriate range. But on the um, Waves Tune real time is that they have the auto antenna separated. That's really no big difference other than just a few notes. But if you're a guy and you're, you're doing some a lot of singing, I would either say baritone, you got a little deeper voice, baritone or tenor. If you got a really deep voice, bass. But I don't think that any people are really doing anything down in that range unless you are trying to do stuff down in that range. So usually these three, these three will work. These two, if you're a guy, and if you're more of a woman, tenor, alto, uh, mezzo, soprano, or even soprano if you're really up there. So that's how you use that. So now I'll show you the contrasting differences between using auto-tune EFX and Evo. Now, once we drag this down, this was a more detailed auto-tune, Evo. So we just drag that down, we're gonna hear the latency issue. So let's play that. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Now, now the first thing that you hear is that it doesn't sound. It doesn't give you that T pain to sound. Now and then it's late. It sounds late. So what you have to do is you have to go to your keyboard and you have to manually move this over. So you can use the numpad on the side of the key and move this over. You hit that minus minus sign twice. You scoot it over to the left. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Now that seemed to fix our timing issues. Now we we have to make get that sound. Like I said, this one is a lot more detailed. So now the first thing that we're gonna do is we can make this a little more choosy. But if you don't know how to, if you don't want to just mess with that, leaving this in this in the middle is absolutely fine. So all we have to do is just go to our retune speed. That's how we get that tune sound. So retune this more up. And then usually the humanize is usually just set to zero. We can just bump that up if we want it to be, you know, 
if we want really the the DT that you know that trap sound, get less humanization. So let's hear it now. I'm on a mission. 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 So. What I suggest is making it more choosy, and then, like I said, to get that get that kind of effect, you want to make it really choosy. I'm on a mission. 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 So I don't know if you guys just seen what I did there. I just turned the formant all the way up. The formant just dictates the amount, how aggressive the plug-in is, is getting to the certain key. So to get that trap sound, you definitely want the formant all the way to 100. You can turn on the amplitude, the amount uh, up a little bit more, and you can turn up the pitch amount because the pitch amount is going to say, hey, bring, bring, if you're choosing between this key or that key, the decision, whatever you the uh, plug-in chooses, we're going to choose that one. So... Boom, and that's how you make that. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. And you guys don't have to worry too much about transpose or throat length because if you find your key, most of the time these trap songs are perfectly in the key. It's only when you're dealing with a lot of singing stuff that you have to get it because sometimes if you're dealing with a lot of jazzy stuff or you're dealing with a lot of R&B or you're dealing with a gospel, sometimes. Those songs are not a lot of those producers may, and I don't know for why for what, excuse my language, why reason they decide to they decide to de scale like detune certain scales or I don't know why they do that. So then you would in that situation you would have to find um, you would just have to detune it or increase the tune or either transport a little bit. But there is a cool trick that you can do. Let's say if you want you feel like your voice is too light, what you can do is. Give it the chipmunk sound by going left or making it deep by going right. So I'm going to show you. So let's say if, I, if my voice is just not deep enough. I can just increase this by going right. So that's a cool little effect. I don't use that a lot unless I use it more on more on the singing stuff if I want to make my voice a little bit darker. Because what that does is that increases or decreases the the vocal the vocal length because it's a singing thing. If you're doing trap vocals, don't even worry about it. So that's basically how you guys use the auto tune. Only thing that you have to do is all you have to do is remember this: import your beat, find your key. Set up your auto tune EFX, or either if you have auto tune Evo 8, you can record live through that. Just hit the live mode, right? And then record. Then you're pretty much ready to go. It's pretty much that simple. Let's hear that again. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. But I like the I like the EFX a little bit better. So I usually stick with the EFX. Plus the EFX plugin is a little bit cheaper. You know. Usually throughout the holiday season, they usually have sales on them, so it'll be probably range between fifty dollars to sometimes going all the way to one hundred thirty dollars. But you know, people have been using Auto Tune forever. That's pretty much the standard when it comes to auto correction. The Wave Tune is a great plugin, is an and is a great alternative, and it's a lot cheaper and it does basically the same thing. So, I mean, choose what you like, but enjoy. Also. I'm coming out definitely with a comprehensive tutorial and class about how to record vocals and edit them, basically doing a vocal recording, vocal production class. Because a lot of times I see engineers, they basically, they know how to record on auto-tune, but they don't know how to take the best takes and find the best takes and then go. And sometimes you might have the right emotion or the singer might have the right emotion on the take. But then we're crump, we're we're in a bind for time when we have three or two hours to be able to to basically produce something that we like. 
So we need to be able to get this vote, these vocals out quickly. And I'll show you guys within the tutorial how to fix the vocals, how to be able to use the auto tune to judge what vocals we like or what we don't like, keep those and be able to fix those and then put together a whole complete song. So that's coming soon. Um, but then also, like I said, just you guys just record, record, record. The more that you use the auto tune, the more that you use your plugins, you tinker around with it, the better you're gonna get. And also check out my Pro Tools template, the Trap Guy template. If you want this sound, basically I'll leave a description. Um, I'll leave a link in the description block box below, so you can check out the template. I'll keep I'll keep you guys updated on everything that I'm doing. Make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can keep you can keep up with everything that I'm doing. Let's listen to this one more time. It's swag. I'm on a mission. 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 Honey, honey, bad with the rock Honey, now we got a Honey, now we got a Fell in love with the love Had a man with the man Had a bag with the love Pulling up in the fish clan Like boom, like with a chain bag Like wrong thing, with a dark thing With a bad thing, with a whole thing With a whole thing Had a line, got a better thing Had a man with a man chain Had a man like a lady thing Had a man with a man chain Had a man with a man chain I don't be shy, but I'm fine, 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 but I'm fine